So you're going to start off by doing a weighted line starting at the back. So I'm going to do chocolate. Of course my light source is over here. Then I'm going to go over that chocolate with the sienna, weighting it further out. And then I'm going to go over that, always starting at the back, and dragging the tones into each other. And I actually add just a little bit more sienna very lightly here, just to give that goldenrod something to attach to. Canary as well. I'm doing this all with my template in place so that my lines are nice and crisp. Okay, you see this is where my core shadow will be. This is where my core highlight will be. I've obviously got a little bit of extra crayon in there, but such is life. So just like you did before, starting, I like to start at my core shadow. Some people work the other way. This is my Sienna and I'm just working towards my highlight, which is going to be over here. Be aware when you're watching one of my videos, I do turn my paper. I am not pressing hard. I'm just trying to get some of the form laid out first. Because it's rounded all the way, I need some form on this side. It is much more subtle than it is on the other side. Notice that I'm turning my pencil sometimes. Take your time with this and build your layers up. Now I'm going to go with my golden rod. Actually, I'm going to insert my core shadow first. Remember that the core shadow will fade as it comes around, so it should be a weighted line. Do not have it too far off the edge. I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate back here for my reflected light, and then I'm going to shade with my chocolate adding a bit more depth if I don't add enough tone everything's gonna look flat and I want to build up light layers on everything now I can see that I actually kind of want it to come forward a bit more so I'm going back to my sienna and I'm going to drag this just a bit further up. For the most part, it's difficult to tell that I'm putting any tone on it at all because I'm building the tone as I go. Always starting at the back edge and going over everything. Working my way towards the core highlight. I'm going to put in my core highlight. The shape is dependent on the light bulb. If it's a long light bulb like the ones in class, then it's going to be a longer core highlight. If it's a spotlight like the one that I use in my studio, it should be more round. It all depends. Your bench lights are long. So they will give you a longer core highlight because the light bends around. The piece. Now I'm going to add a little bit more Sienna so that this backside is darker give it a bit more form 
Remember, we cannot erase. Do not put too much tone down at once. Now I'm going to take my canary, I'm going to work from the highlight towards shadowed areas. I'm actually going to give this a bit more punch right here. Fade that out a bit more. I want to do this, once I start with that canary, it's going to join things together, but I cannot do much after that. So I'm almost using the canary like a blending tool. Keep your edges crisp. Reassert with my gouache, not because I want to, but because I'm supposed to show you guys how to use gouache. Now you will get used to doing whichever gold tone you want to do as your you practice. Your gold will slightly be different as you get older and whatnot. Now I can see, I'm not really all that happy with this right here. Darken my reflected light just a little bit here. Here we go. Okay.